The Hebrew word eben means a stone. It is actually a construct made of two Hebrew words, or even three, you can argue. If you look with me on the screen, you will see the word eben. Reading from right to left, the first two letters of the word is ab, which means the father. The following two letters, the last two, uh, that's the word ben, which means the son. The son in, in uh, meaning S-O-N, not S-U-N. The son, son, so father and the son. Christ is inviting us to be in a relationship between himself and the father. And he says in John 17, I pray that you all will be as one as I am one with the father, or the father and I are one. I find it quite interesting because the middle letter, bait, also means a house. And so what you have here in this one word ben, or, the, on the, or in this one word eben, you have the entire gospel contained. It is the relationship between the father and son who are inviting us to be with them in their house. Interestingly enough, the book of Daniel, in the Aramaic portion of it in Daniel chapter 2, states that the stone that hits the image on its feet will become a great stone that will fill the entire earth. And this stone will be the kingdom of God forever. Well, this is the word for stone. This is the kingdom of God that we're talking about. And yes, here, the kingdom of God is when God is inviting us to live together with himself and with his son. Christ is doing the very same thing. They are wanting us to be in a relationship with him. I find it really strange that in this entire presentation, in this entire prayer of Christ in John 17 as he prays, that we will be as one as he is one with the Father, there is no mention of the Holy Spirit. It tells me that there is no such person as the Holy Spirit, or at least appears that there is no such thing as, they per, as a person of the Holy Spirit. Because Christ is inviting us into a relationship that He has with His Father and completely omits the person of the Holy Spirit. It would seem very strange. In fact, it would be unethical. In fact, it would be illegal. In fact, it would be untheological. In fact, it would be contrary to the nature of God to exclude one member of the Godhead family, if there's such a thing. Yet, here Christ clearly states that he wants us to be one with his Father, as he is one with the Father. He's inviting us into that relationship, and this, brothers and sisters, is the gospel. The gospel is that we all are in the house of our Father. This is exactly what he says in John 17 and John 14 when he goes to prepare a place for us. The place that he's preparing for us is in the house of his Father. We all will live there. We are all his children. And this, brothers and sisters, is the essence of the gospel. I invite you to have a relationship with Christ, to have a relationship with his Father. This Father is our God. This Father is Jesus' God as well, as he stated several times. Thank you again for watching. This is Arthur for Intrinsic Truth. Blessings.